Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Visio shapes to create a database that you can then send to Excel, for example. And the template I'm going to use is a Gantt chart template. So I'll just open this one. I'm just going to create a blank one. And it's asking me for five tasks. I'll just leave everything as default and just click OK so it generates the Gantt chart on the screen for me. So I've got five tasks, task one, task two, task three, task four, task five, etc. And they're all one day duration. But that's not what I'm focusing on. It's about the information that you can send into Excel as a report or you can store information in these tasks, these events, like a little database. Now you can see there that you've got already some quite a lot of information preloaded and these user defined fields you can edit now the problem you've got here is if I edit say I edit this one what you have to do is just right click go into data and then define shape data so there there's all the, the fields that I've just shown you over on the right there if I create a new one let's just call it Steve for argument's sake I'll just leave everything default and then just click OK Steve appears there but Steve hasn't appeared on the rest of them so that's just something you'd have to keep doing over and over again as would be if you wanted to edit these fields and change these names so what I'm going to suggest you do is not that you just basically click on each one of these to select them all you have to, it's quite it's quite hard to get them all I don't want that one there so I'll just do that again you just basically need that cross symbol. Okay, I got them there. So try and avoid clicking on one of these rows. I don't want the row. So now I've got these five tasks selected. I can right click and go into data for the five of them. And whatever I do now will apply to all five. So what I am going to do is basically delete some of these extra fields I don't really want these I can leave these two at the... no, I don't want these fields I'm just going to get rid of them because it's just going to cl clutter up my um, my report use defined time so these are just fields that are set if I click on this um, you can see that the information up there is it's a string as opposed to one of these options the other one I just deleted was a date and the format set there Got different formats so I'm just going to delete these and then I'll rename a couple so these text fields these are just set to text um, but you can rename this so if I um, for example say person responsible that can be somebody's name for that one and then I'll rename this one I'll rename this one as department and then I'll just get rid of the rest um, because I'll just be repeating myself the same process so I've got that as department delete that one delete that one and delete that one I'll just leave everything else as it is uh, you've got a notes field in here as well that you can use in the resource field I'll just click OK to that and you can see now that this is uh, shrunk quite a bit and if I click on individual tasks that's, that's got my one on it that I did the first time. So I don't want that on there. So let's get rid of that. Let's go back in there. D data, define, shape data, find Steve. Delete that one. Don't want that anymore. So each one of these, you, you've got person responsible. So I'll go Mr. Brown, and department admin. So this is information that will come through onto the re reports. And I'll just click away onto that one. So when I typed admin there, it didn't like that. So let's have a quick look at that. Okay, it's done it now. It's person responsible, Mr. White, and department sales. And then I'll just fill these in. Mr. Green, finance, and then I'll just pour okay so each person is allocated so I've done Mr. Brown 
Mr. White, Mr. Green, Mrs. Miss White and Mrs. Green. And then all the other stuff can be allocated and filled in as well. And then this can be sent into Excel as a report. So this is the database information. And I've shown you how you can uh, add fields and delete fields for all of these tasks. To do reports, though, on the review tab, you've got shape reports and there's some preset ones. I'll just do a preset one first off. Run that one. Gives the options Excel, HTML, Visio Shape and XML. I'm going to leave it on Excel. OK to that one. Generates report and drops it into an Excel sheet, which you can see there. No information filled in, it's just the default stuff, which is OK, but it hasn't brought in the fields that I did, like so. So what I'm going to do now is run another report, but this time I'm going to create a new one and add my own fields. So shapes on the current page, that's all these shapes, yep. Then it's a case of ticking the fields that you want to come in. So I want the name, so it's going to say task one, two, three, four, five, and then I want person responsible and department. So departments at the top there. And then next, and I'll call this um, debt just to give it a name. You've got options here to do subtotals if there's any need to do subtotals. Next, I'll call this debt as well. And then finish, and it will generate that when I run it into Excel. Okay, and then this is how it goes into Excel. And then you might have to manipulate this a little bit in Excel. So you can see that the, the way I've ticked these, because of the order, you might need to adjust this slightly. If I just open this up, I mean, if I just delete the title on this, so what I want this is I want this column name to come across to the first. So I'll just hold that with my shift key and it'll move it to be the first. So now you've got the tasks and you've got department and person responsible. Now, if you want to, you can get rid of all these blank lines and then you've just got this information. Like so, you see, this is for all the potential other fields that you've got. You don't really want all these, so I'm just going to delete them off. And then you can just, uh, these want to be left aligned like so. So that's the information that's come. You can save this file as a normal Excel file. I'm just going to close it down. The report is saved, so I don't have to worry about that. Don't save. But that report is saved, and you've got the report sitting there. And you can modify that if you want to. And you go into advanced, there's some other features there. You can do filters and all sorts of stuff in there. Just cancel that off. Uh, if we go through it again, You've got other fields that you might want to tick and add in, like the end date, start date, and things like that. It's totally up to you how you want to do this, and then you can modify it in Excel, like I just did. So I'll just cancel that off, close that down. So the same process um, that I've done here with the shape data, adding, adding um, fields or deleting fields or editing fields, you can do in any of the templates that you get. So if I go File, New, all of these you can have shape data. The only one that you would have to create from scratch would be a, a basic diagram. There is no shape data pre-formatted on these basic shapes, but you can do, you can add it yourself. But all the rest have shape data preset, which you would need to edit and adjust. But hopefully that is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.